let's talk about how you got into the porn industry and how you lost your virginity on camera because that's that's pretty unusual. I was noticed by an owner from Reality Kings mm-hmm. back when I was a little starlet. <laughs> and <clears throat> were you 18? How old were you? 19. 19. Okay. And he was like, You ever want to do porn? I was like, Hell yeah. How do I do it? And he's like, Come tomorrow for a casting. I was like, Okay. Next day I started shooting. I was like, Can I shoot with girls though? Because I'm a virgin. And he's like, Huh? I was like, yeah, I've only, I've tried to have sex with an old boyfriend. Bless his heart. He probably is like that, that whore. <laughs> but his dick was too big. Mm. And I like, I tried to get on it. And I was like, oh, can we for, go watch a movie? Yeah, the first time is not, Ooh. is never fun. And he was like, it was big too. So I was yeah, like. Yeah, that's rough. Oh. So I was a virgin ever since. And then I did my first scene for Rally Kings and. It was, it wasn't memorable. I mean, it, it was memorable for you. I would well imagine. for me because but you I feel was like, like it wasn't a memorable scene. No, I just treated it like I was just like. Did you tell them you were a virgin? I did. They did not market that properly. They didn't market it as a virgin scene. Nope. Were they concerned about? Because honestly, if a girl was like, "I want to do boy girl porn, porn, but I'm still a virgin," I'd be like, "I ain't shooting." <laughs> Scene. are you kidding me like i would never do that i told the guy so like because you know how guys have that like stereotype yeah. she's gonna fall in love with me yeah I'm like no not not you so so i mean okay do, do you remember who it was with no he had a big dick he's not in porn anymore okay i think it was like a miami situation okay. so how did that go you gotta like walk me through this because this is this is intense It was very bland, I will say. Hmm. I don't remember the scene. I think, I don't don't remember the scene. We shot it at an apartment, very amateur or whatever. We went for ice cream after. There's like really no, there's no excitement about that scene. But I mean, did it hurt? Did you bleed? I didn't bleed. And I think that just comes from like my background in riding horses. I've heard, so I was like, Okay, no, See, no blood. See, but I rode horses my whole life, too. And Did I, you? You yeah. blood? Uh-huh. I yeah, I was bleed. equestrian. That's what they were worried about was bleeding. It was like. I, and I, I bled. I was like, nothing's back I there. It fucking hurt. It hurt. I was definitely walking like. Uh, yeah. But I didn't bleed, no. I don't. I can't remember the last time I bled. So, okay. So he penetrates you. So you don't think. So you think your hymen was already broken. So it was just uncomfortable because he was big and you were not used to that. Mm-hmm. How did you, how did you manage that? Like, did you guys take a lot of breaks? Did you use a lot of lube? Did you, ev- did it eventually become less painful? Was it ever enjoyable? No, it, it wasn't good at all. Like we, we did go for ice cream after. Which is nice. <laughs> Which is nice. It was like, okay, paycheck and ice cream. Cool. But no, it didn't. I don't even remember who shot it. Like that's how un- memorable it was I don't remember the guy I don't know who shot it I know it was for reality kings I heard if I would have come here first to LA it would have been marketed so different probably but they just was like no shoot it (laughs) I was like okay so I mean I would it sounds to me like losing your virginity wasn't that big of a deal to you no I mean I've had sex with women before right right right. like before that but you tend to gravitate towards women right yeah <laughs> there's so much to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I, I mean, I know that there's gonna be people watching this interview and they're gonna be like, Oh God, what a traumatic experience for her. And she's just like no. hiding the trauma and like, et cetera, et cetera. But I know that a lot of people put like so much on, I, I find that there is, I have a little bit of an issue with the importance that sometimes people put on virginity in terms of it being like a prize that like women have to hold on to and like yeah. sell it to the highest bidder, whether it be like maybe somebody who's willing to market it, it to appropriately <laughs> as a porn. Right. And, and do that. Or like someone who's willing to marry you or something yeah. like that to like have be the first one that you, they've ever been with. You know, they'd sell us this idea of like save your virginity for marriage right. and blah, 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 and that kind of stuff. Whereas with men, it's kind of like, you know, generally like, oh, don't stay a virgin too long because it's embarrassing. You yeah. know, like the 40 year old virgin and, 
you know, you got to like lose your virginity earlier because otherwise you're not a man. But as a woman, once you lose your virginity, you're like, there's this idea that you're like damaged goods in some way. Yeah, I would probably still be a virgin if I had come here first hmm. to men. Mm-hmm. 